Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Just thought I'd uh, run through a little wireless uh, training example that we do in the field and uh, when we're in class as well. We're going to just use good old ping this time. All right, so let's see how this goes. First things we're going to cover is the goal. The goal of this is to get an idea of coverage and performance with various devices using just ping. Why? Well, in some cases, you might not have the fancy tools around to help troubleshoot the wireless issues. Um, a secondary goal, I guess, in this case, as I'm reading it, something else popped into my head. Um, I also want to highlight what I've been telling people now for a few years, that obviously every device will have a different uh, coverage, will have a different um, area of coverage and performance, depending on its radio and its antenna. So this is going to try to highlight that theory or myth as well. So a little bit about the setup. We've got uh, two different phones, an HTC Wildfire, little tiny guy, and a Samsung Galaxy S2. I, I kind of wanted a good uh, sample of a little entry-level phone and, and a half-decent phone. I also have a, a good old laptop. It's a 17-inch uh, HP Pavilion 2000. Pretty typical uh, chipset, nothing fancy. Tools, we're going to use Microsoft Ping with the following switches. We're going to do a 500 millisecond timeout, and that's a dash W for the people who don't know that. We're going to send 10 pings, dash N10, and lastly 500 bytes of payload, so dash L for length and 500. Uh, it's kind of important we do this for several reasons. I want the timeout there because if it takes longer than 500 milliseconds, you might as well not even count it. Uh, 10 pings, I want obviously more than 3 or 4, 10 is a good number, and then 500 bytes, I don't want the typical um, little tiny payload that you find in the packet. I, I want a little more beef in it. So that's why I chose those. And I want to stick with Microsoft. I know there's other tools out there, but I wanted to stick with good old Microsoft. So a little bit about ping, a little more about ping. Uh, we can see here a screen with all my ping output. And what I did was I did something a little different. Um, I pinged like I normally would. But then from there, I did that same ping command that I just talked about a moment ago. And then I did this uh, pipe find double quote A. And the reason why I put the A in there is a little uh, trick. Instead of getting all this stuff up on the screen, if I just want the summary, uh, what the find A does is it goes through and just picks out the lines with the letter A in it. So for example, reply from IP with bytes and time. There's no A in there. There's no A. There's no A in there. So I just went through manually and said, well, what's common in this statistics screen at letter A? So when you do that find A, you only get this statistics packet sent approximate round trip and minimum. So again, a little tip for you so you don't have to see all this stuff on your screen. Um, other ping tools have summary options and flags, but in this case, that's how we do it with Microsoft. A little bit about the test area. Test area here, we got uh, my place. Uh, you can see the access points here, and we've marked out some test points that we want to test. Now, the red area is concrete, so that's good to know. The interior, the black lines, are all drywall, which is good to know. I've also changed the color of six. Why? Because that is upstairs on the second floor versus downstairs or the first floor okay moving on we've got our results here so all I did was uh, from my laptop I was also on wireless I pinged the following devices and put them in the same location and here we are the results so the first test the closest the baseline if you will you can see the Samsung Galaxy S2 had the highest average nobody lost anything but again you can see the difference with the laptop big difference so location number two, which we just flip back here, is just that little area over there. And we can see here we've got all of a sudden the wildfires minimum and average shoots up. The laptop also goes up a bit and the Samsung Galaxy actually got better. Now in the real world, I would not settle for one test. I would actually do multiple tests, for example, five, drop the high, drop the low, average of three, that kind of thing, okay? Now we'll go to location three and four, which back to our map is three in this far corner, the farthest corner, and four is just on the other side of this drywall. So let's come and take a look at that. We've got uh, the wildfire again with a fairly high uh, average and four lost packets. The Samsung Galaxy had a, a far better average with only one lost packet. And the laptop actually had a slightly worse average and two lost packets. In that particular example, the Galaxy S2 did better than the laptop. Go figure. 
Uh, location 4, which is just on the other side of the axis point, you can see all of a sudden um, now we've got the averages um, up in the 200s. We've got the wildfire with um, not the worst, the galaxy's the worst in that particular time, but the wildfire had more lost packets. And the laptop has settled back down to a 33 millisecond average and only one lost packet, so it kind of did better than the others. And the last two points, 5 and 6, are five in the garage which is kind of important this is a concrete wall and this is a steel door and then six is on the far end on the second floor so let's see how they fare so five we've got the wildfire here with the 300 millisecond average and six lost packets we've got the samsung galaxy with only 87 millisecond average with no lost packets that was a huge surprise to me again in the real world i would do more tests and the laptop, 101 millisecond average with one lost packet. So that was a, kind of an eye opener for me. And the far end upstairs, we have 379 millisecond average for the uh, HTC, four lost packets. We've got 129 milliseconds for the Sam <laughs> Samsung Galaxy S2. I've got 143 milliseconds for the laptop, and they're both one lost packets each. So there you go. So what we did was we proved that uh, with the same equipment in the same environment, just uh, obviously location pays a big role, and you'd be quite surprised how well or not well uh, they work depending on where they are. Have a good day. Bye for now.